Hi, I'm Leslie from FashionTribes.com. Celebrity wedding gowns, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not so ugly. However, there are a few celebrities who I definitely think got it right. Selma Hayek went for classic in this flawless Balenciaga gown. Yes, it's Balenciaga, a little out of most of our price point. However, the silhouette is flawless, very trend-proof, great if you're a curvy girl like Salma, and there's just enough bling on the bodice to make it interesting. She will definitely not regret her choice when she looks at her wedding pictures 10 years from now. A little more contemporary is Rebecca Romaine, showing off her fabulous upper body in Ralph Lauren, a little spaghetti strap number. Great if you've got those Michelle Obama guns you've been working on in the gym, you want to show them off. Lisa Ling gave a nod to her heritage, always in style. She wore a beautiful, vibrant red Vivian Tam dress. In traditional Chinese weddings, the bride wore red to symbolize love, joy, and prosperity. Now, Christina Aguilera actually wore this after her service. She slipped into it to entertain her guests, which is perfect for a more casual wedding. Think little white dress, little black dress, just white. And if you've got a destination wedding, strapless is definitely the way to go. As Jamie King shows here, she's barefoot, so you can dress it up or you can dress it down for the more sort of usually festive, laid-back vibe of a destination wedding. Hey, it's Audrey from Mom Generations, and it's wedding week. So today I wanted to recommend such a great read. It's The Knot Book of Wedding Gowns by Carly Rooney. Carly is the mastermind behind that great website, thenot.com, and this book answers any kind of question that you might have about finding your wedding gown. If you're thinking about different kind of fabrics, the best cut for you, you know, different kinds of prices, this book should be your go-to source. So definitely check it out. It's one of my favorite reads, and I'll tell you right now, I still look at my pictures. I had a Vera Wang gown in 2001 when I married the love of my life, and it is absolutely the most important piece of clothing that I have to date ever worn on this body. So enjoy. Hi, it's Julia from All About the Pretty, and I'm here to talk about wedding trends. And one trend that I want brides to know is to always figure out a way to plan your makeup, makeup for that day. I know you're stressed, I know you're busy, but the best thing you could do is plan your makeup according to what type of dress, where you're getting married, the time of day you're getting married, whether your hair is up, whether it's down, whether your dress is ivory, whether it's white. You want to plan your makeup accordingly. I like to use the Bobbi Brown makeup manual and talk with brides about bridal makeup because it is completely different from your everyday makeup. This section of the book will give you tips on how to look your best for the most important day of your life. And remember, you're going to look back on those photos, so you want to say, I look fabulous. So make sure you plan ahead on your wedding day makeup.